Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion. Uh, the topic is nitrogen and its compounds. And uh, today we are discussing more chemical properties of ammonia. So we are going to discuss chemical property number three. And this is the reaction of ammonia gas with air. And uh, basically we can say that uh, ammonia does not burn in air. Ammonia does not burn in the presence of oxygen in the air. But however, if that oxygen in there is enriched or if air is enriched with more oxygen then ammonia burns with a green yellow flame so we are saying that uh, ammonia does not react with oxygen in the air However, when air is enriched with oxygen, of course from an external source, when the air is enriched with oxygen, ammonia burns with a green yellow flame. A green yellow flame and this leads to the formation of nitrogen and water so if the ammonia gas reacts with air that is enriched with oxygen so we are talking about excess oxygen <clears throat> then you are saying that uh, it will be oxidized to nitrogen gas and water so in that case uh, we can balance the nitrogen the hydrogen will be 6, so we put 3, these are 2, we make this to be, no, make this to be 6, hydrogen 12 so we can counter check for for 12, 12, 6, 6. So that equation can be simplified. That is 2, 3, 3. That is a problem. Let's balance again. So the oxygen here, there are two. That makes uh, hydrogen four. Nitrogen, hydrogen, there are six. So three, <coughs> six, six, two, two, 
oxygen 3 5 times 2 that is 3 6 Yeah, so it's supposed to balance like that. So we are saying that uh, ammonia reacts with oxygen uh, or with air that is enriched with oxygen to form nitrogen and water. So that is the reaction with the air. And we can say that uh, in the presence of platinum catalyst ammonia reacts faster ammonia reacts faster with a highly exothermic reaction that makes the platinum wire to glow. So in this case, platinum acts as a catalyst. So to make the reaction between ammonia and oxygen faster, uh, we use a platinum catalyst. And we are saying that the reaction is highly exothermic. It produces a lot of heat. And that heat makes the platinum wire to glow. And here, nitrogen 2 oxide and water are produced. So here what we are saying is that the same ammonia gas plus oxygen but now in the presence of platinum a platinum wire as a catalyst then uh, ammonia is oxidized to nitrogen 2 oxide plus water so this shows a further oxidation so we are saying that the reaction is faster because of the platinum wire catalyst. To balance the equation, nitrogen is okay. Oxygen is okay. Hydrogen, there are two. And here there are three. So if you put a two here, there are six. And if you put a three here, we balance the hydrogen. However, the oxygen will be four. And therefore, also, we need to balance that. And nitrogen also will be 4. No, will be 2. And then oxygen will be 5. Here, there will be 4. So, we multiply this one by 5. Here, by 4. So, 4 nitrogen, 12 hydrogen, and 10 oxygen. So, that equation is balanced. So, that is uh, the reaction of ammonia with air without a catalyst and in the presence of platinum wire catalyst where the reaction is faster. Um, number 4, uh, we have the reduction properties of ammonia gas and we can see that uh, ammonia gas is a reducing agent is a reducing agent because it reduces heated Copper 2 oxide 
to copper metal as can be seen in this equation so we are saying that ammonia gas passed over heated copper 2 oxide and you'll find that uh, um, copper, copper 2 oxide will be reduced to copper metal plus uh, the hydrogen will be oxidized to water plus nitrogen gas. <clears throat> so the diagram for that So the diagram here shows ammonia gas passed through heated copper 2 oxide and what happens is that ammonia reduces copper 2 oxide to copper metal this formation of water so there is a colorless liquid which is water that collects in the u-tube then nitrogen gas is collected over water as shown in the diagram so this is the reduction property of ammonia gas so ammonia is a reducing agent in this setup so it reduces copper 2 oxide to copper so here the color changes from black to red brown and that is because of reduction of copper 2 oxide to copper water is condensed by the ice salt mixture the ice salt mixture condense this the the water and then nitrogen gas is collected in the uh, in the gas jar over water so to balance this equation we say that uh, the equation should always be balanced so nitrogen we balance hydrogen there are two here there are six so that makes six as well oxygen there are three here we should have three and copper they should also be three so two nitrogen six hydrogen three oxygen and three copper so that equation is balanced our assignment So the first question in the assignment, write a balanced chemical equation between ammonia and copper 2 oxide. And two, in the above equation, name the oxidizing agent, which is the oxidizing agent in that equation. So we are going to stop there until next time. Goodbye.